So here we have my gaming laptop. I have a Acer Predator with a i5 10 300H and a 3060, which I believe is the 115 watt version. So I would say this is a fairly good uh, gaming laptop, but the CPU is somewhat mid range. And when looking at newer gaming laptops and also like when seeing people recommending new laptops, it almost comes out as if you don't have a mock switch in your laptop, it's basically crap. So I wanted to test this myself. This here doesn't have a mock switch. You get a lot for your money, but you don't get a mock switch in these predators. And I wanted to see what kind of uh, performance that I'm missing. So what is a MUG switch is basically a way for the like 3060 in here to display the image directly to the screen without it going through the internal graphics of the processor which can bottleneck your performance a little bit and also cause some delays. I can't test the delays but we can see on this laptop here uh, the difference in the internal screen where we are bottlenecked by the CPU and the internal graphics to display an image on this monitor here. And since this doesn't have a mock switch, we can't like test the difference there. But if you hook up a monitor to this display port here and display image and then remove the image from the monitor on the laptop itself, we will have a direct feed directly out from the 3060 GPU without it being bottlenecked by the CPU's internal graphics. So I tested a few titles to see the difference, but we need to keep in mind that I don't really have that much time to do this kind of testing. And there are a lot of variables when it comes to like online gaming and what kind of runs you're doing and yeah a lot of factors but i think this test here at least gives us a good indication and with all of the different titles this fairly show the same result as well so i think we at least can draw a conclusion out of the results that i got uh, from my testing here so if we start off with warzone resurgence on the internal gpu i was getting an average of 104 fps and when we went to the external display, mimicking a MOOC switch, we were getting around 117 frames uh, average. And I think the conclusion or the explanation for this is that Warzone is a fairly CPU heavy game. So when we then have to do the extra rendering to display it on the monitor on the laptop itself, because we don't have a mock switch, we are putting some more strain on the CPU Enemy and therefore we are not bottlenecked but we lose some performance. So if we go from 104 to 117, that is an increase in 12.5%. So in Warzone that was a really CPU heavy game, we can see playing with a 3060 at 1080p we couldn't even uh, utilize the GPU to 100% and therefore we were like bottlenecked by the CPU and therefore we saw an impact really when using the internal uh, graphics to display the image on the laptop monitor. But going to Vanguard it seems to be lot more optimized and here the differences are much smaller on the internal laptop monitor we get 103 and then if you go to the external mimicking a mock switch we get 106 frames average so there the difference is 3% which is negligible in my opinion and I wouldn't really notice the difference myself there. So if you move on to CSGO, here we are 100% bottlenecked by the CPU. Uh, GPU utilization in this game here with a 3060 is really low because it's an old game. And here we see the biggest differences with the internal when we are bottlenecked by 
the internal graphics to display the video output to the internal laptop display we get an average of 154 frame rate average and when we move to the external display mimicking a mux switch we get 184 which is a difference of 19 percent which is more compared to warzone but this game here is also 100% bottlenecked by the CPU uh, I think the GPU utilization never goes close to 100% here uh, so yeah it's a fairly big difference but playing on laptop I wouldn't really notice the difference I guess uh, if we move on to Flight Simulator 2020 where I would have to say that these small percentage differences wouldn't be that uh, you wouldn't really notice it and with the internal laptop monitor here we get 38 and the external we get 39 so that is basically a difference of 2.7% or you can round it up to 3% so a difference there that I wouldn't have noticed so if I were to conclude this video at least uh, my personal opinion here is that yeah more frames is better and we can see that I am losing some performance when I play on the internal screen because we get are getting a little bit bottlenecked by the internal GPU that have to work together with the CPU especially in those uh, CPU intensive games but in CSGO we overall have a fairly high frame rate so I wouldn't notice it and it's even higher than what we can display on this 144Hz monitor but in Warzone a difference of 10 FPS I would maybe have noticed it because it's in that range where uh, it makes more sense to have those frames but uh, what kind of cost does this mug switch come with I'm not sure but of course it's gonna cost you somewhat more to have it integrated into the PC but I see no like negative thing about having a MUX switch as long as it doesn't cost you that much more but when it comes to like overall competitiveness you want a higher FPS to at least get more competitive at least in the games that we saw here uh, all of them were running fine on the internal screen but we maybe would have feel a better competitiveness if we had those uh, extra frames but for me personally I can't really play that competitive on my laptop either way uh, a 15.6 inch monitor is a much bigger like bottleneck for me playing so the size of the internal monitor is just too small for me so either way if I were to play competitive with this laptop here to get my best performance in game I would use the external monitor because that is just a huge difference uh, when it comes to the game overall gameplay so we have we see that we lose some performance since we don't have a mug switch but personally uh, I'm not really missing it in this laptop here.